usually it doesn't take that long time to uh, get the skis uh, ready. That what takes time is actually the, all the testing, because we have to go out and make sure that we test uh, all the different products, anything from gliders to powders to different toppings, manual structures and, and structures, and that takes a lot of time. And uh, if it's a sprint race, then we can go directly from the cabin and test them. And if it's a distance race, it's very important that we get some kilometers on the skis. That's why I look so fit, by the way. I mean, you have uh, a couple of different categories that are really important. It's the ski itself. The, uh, the properties of the ski is uh, essential to what you're doing. It's the most important tool. A good ski you can make better, but a bad ski, well, you can also make it a little bit better, but it's never going to be a great ski. So the ski is the most important. Second to that, you have uh, the products that you're using. And it can be anything from the glider to the powder to the topping or if you have a liquid and uh, methods that you use to apply these waxes. Next you have uh, structures. Uh, it basically means that you're removing some parts or some masses from the, the bases of the ski and you have a pattern in the ski itself. Third, you can manipulate that structure with uh, hand tools so that you change the uh, pattern of the structure. And also there you have uh, various different uh, methods that you have to apply. To have fast skis is of course a prerequisite, but they also have to uh, be stable, which means that when you push on the skis that uh, we're 100% sure that we get a response uh, from the ski. If the ski just slides out, then it's definitely not a, a good ski, and it's not an easy ski to ski on for longer races. What's really important is uh, the, the cooperation between the racer and the serviceman. And uh, we also make sure that we, we test in parallel testing so we can get the comparative result. And of course the feeling on the skis is very important. So we have a lot of people that are double checking the work and making sure that uh, and help the athletes in selecting the best pair of skis. If you're looking at uh, a tourist ski and uh, the best racing ski, you're looking at probably two, three minutes from the top to the bottom.